going on, YouTube people? I am SCT American, and yeah, hey, you, wearing the black shirt. Yeah, I see, I see you, I can see you. That's a nice shirt, and I like that shirt. Did you get it from Walmart? It looks like it's from Walmart, and I like that shirt. Very, very casual. Nice of you to word to my video. Anyways, <laughs> this is going to be my review on Studio Series Autobot Dino. And, of course, we shall always take a look at the box that he comes in. And on the front of the box, you have Dino. Uh, his name is Dino, Transformers Dark of the Moon. Transformers, on the side of the box, you have Dino. On the other side of the box, you have Dino. On the back of the box, guess what? You have Dino. He can look like this. He can look like that. 27 steps, backdrop included. And at the bottom of the box, you have the iconic barcode. And that's pretty much it for... The box but now getting right down to it here is autobot dino and no he is not a ferrari okay he's not a ferrari it, it's it it hasbro had to do it the legal way apparently so uh yeah no he's not a ferrari he is still a sports car but uh yeah no not a ferrari but uh let's get in here and uh, it's still a nice bright red he still does look like dino got some nice silver in there for the headlights some black here for the bumper some uh tinted transparent plastic red all along you got his foot sticking out right there which is part of the design you got some nice silver on the rims nice red what the hell is all that <laughs> nice just like red stripe or something going down the back windshield coming to the back and some more black you got the exhaust that are molded in but they're not painted in silver kind of wish they were but uh yeah all in all not bad He's a, he's a good looking sports car. I'm gonna call it a Lamborghini, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> uh, it looks more like a Lamborghini in my opinion. But uh, yep, here's the front, or wait, nope, here's the top. And here's the bottom, you can pretty much see what's going on here. <laughs> you can see his fake chest, his arms, and uh, his feet, like I said. So uh, yeah, <laughs> there is Dino in his Ferrari mode. Now, I don't usually do comparisons in uh, their vehicle modes and their alt modes, but uh, just because I already have them here, here he is with uh, Clunker B. Or just uh, uh, the old Camaro B because this doesn't have all the rust and stuff like that. So here he is, just old Camaro B. And uh, I think they yeah, well I got it. B is a little bit longer, but uh, Dino is definitely wider. So uh, yeah, I think it's a little cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But that's pretty much all I have to say about the sports car mode. It's a nice looking sports car mode. Just kind of wish it was Ferrari, but hey, we don't always get what we want. So we're going to have to settle with this car and uh, it's not a bad car. But uh, now that we're done talking about the car mode, we can get down to his robot mode. Now, first thing, first thing you want to do is you're going to come back here and you're going to untab his bump, his back bumper. In other words, you can lift this up, you can spin this around and you're going to fold this in and it's pretty much going to look like that. Okay. Next thing you want to do is, I already did it apparently, you're going to open the doors, you can see his leg folded up on in there. Same thing on the other side, on, open the door, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to come down here, uh, swing open his legs, which will move the entire back wheel. Swing open his legs, you're going to twist his legs around, you're going to fold down the foot, fold down the foot, and you can come here to the front, and you're going to push in his thighs go and there you go you have all of his legs done now the next thing you want to do is you're going to bring this piece up and then you're going to bring the head up and already we have his head <laughs> the next thing you want to do is oops it's getting a little bit too tall here. here let me raise the camera up real quick raise the camera up and there we go now next thing you want to do is now that you have his head open is you're going to come here to the hands and they're tabbed in so all you need to do is just untab them and then what you can do is you're going to untab them from up here you can do some doing his feet are scratching on the ground uh the table so there you go just untab it from there open the doors to the side these are going to fold uh, or actually no they're going to say fold it down and you're going to swing around this little piece right here that, oops <laughs> this is going to go the other way this is on a uh, friction hinge so good thing for that this is going to f uh fold in this way it's going to tab in if you can get the arms out the way it's going to tab in like that and then his arms are going to stay like that and the next thing you're going to do is get the doors out the way is basically all this is going to collapse into this little area okay so literally everything here is going to collapse into that little area so what you're going to do is 
fold this back in. There you go. Oops. Back back in. This is going to fold in this way, and then fold in this way, and then fold in like that. There you go. And these tabs will go into those slots. And there you go, you have this back all done. Now the next thing you want to do is this is all going to fold inward. I think so, yep, fold in this way. I'm going to fold inward. This door's getting in the way. I, I guess since we're already here, you, uh, his doors do fold in. So you're just going to fold in these. And continue folding this in. You're going to push his torso up. And they do, they're do. they going to tab in uh, these two slots into those two posts. Or the other way around. <laughs> there you go. Tap that in. Flip his arms around. Flip it at the elbow. Flip it at the wrist. Flip it at the shoulder. Flip it at the elbow. Flip it at the wrist. And basically, you can angle these doors however you want. But let's just get them all nice and straight. Get his legs all straightened out. And there you go. Now you have Autobot Dino. And uh, he's a good looking Dino uh, from Dark in the Moon. Yeah, he is. Uh, I think he's pretty good, you know, for a deluxe class. I think he looks very, very cool. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look at his uh, his details. Let me lower that camera a little bit more. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and look at his details. You can look at his head there. Look, focus, 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 focus. There you go. Oh, there, there, there we go. Uh, he does have a very unusual face for a Cybertronian, but uh, it's there. I uh, got some nice blue for the eyes, silver for the face, and down again some nice like gunmetal gray for his chest and his fake. Uh, his fake headlights there. And move more down if it can focus. Hello, focus. Hello. There you go. Alright, there you go. Can you, can you focus on D Dono? There you go. Alright. Yeah, nice gunmetal gray for his abs. Abs. <laughs> and on the legs, red for the crotch. Again, that same gunmetal gray. For his thighs. And spread out throughout the figure. His toes, which are shaped weirdly i don't know why they're shaped like that but that's the way he was made so and the arms the the hands are like a kind of like plastic gray and then this is all like painted gray, uh gunmetal gray but uh yeah it's a different type of gray and uh, yeah move uh to the back uh he's a uh, he's uh, it's a clean transformation whoops <laughs> he's not back heavy i swear but his feet are on hinges so and uh, yeah, I'd say it's a pretty clean transformation in my opinion. It's uh, pretty flat, but uh, he is pretty square in the back. <laughs> he's got a, uh, yeah, he's definitely got uh, some junk in the trunk. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not, not much to talk about on the back. Some black up on in there. His wheels do show the silver. And uh, I think he looks good, in my opinion anyways. Now uh, for articulation, uh, the doors, whoops, let me kind of erase this up a little bit. Raise, 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 raise. There you go. Set up a little bit. And for the doors, you can, uh, he does have pretty articulated door wings, which uh, I kind of wish they put this type of articulation on Bumblebee's door wings, because, like, they fold it in, you know, which kind of makes it more accurate to the Ferrari. Uh, he has a hinge there and a hinge right there, so you can, like, angle these however you want to in any position you want to and i think that's pretty cool uh his head i believe is on a ball joint but just because of the way his head is shaped he can't really move side to side but he can look up quite a bit and he can look down not really he's pretty much just looking straight uh these two like little antenna things they're like on a pin so they can move up and down for uh reasons i'm gonna leave them back <laughs> uh his shoulders are on a ball joint so they can go forward they can go back and they can go up like this, so if you really want to, you can have his shoulders more up, just in case you don't like the way how low they're sitting, so uh, you can do that if you want to. Uh, there is bicep rotation. I'm like so sure there is, there you go. There is bicep rotation. Get uh, about a double, double band at the elbow, and you do get wrist rotation because they are on a mushroom peg. Yeah, they're on a mushroom peg. Yeah, uh, no uh, waist swivel. I don't think so. Yeah, no waist swivel. Uh, he does have a little bit of outward leg movement, but just because of the, his thighs, he can't go out that far. He can go back a little bit as far as that'll let him. He can go forward about 90 degrees. He can do a little kick. Uh, there is some knee movement there, knee swivel, and you get 
just a solid 90 degrees at the knee and you can also move his ankles forward not really that far back and you get no ankle tilted so you can't break his ankles that way but you can break them like this <laughs> so it's 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 you can still technically break his ankles if you want to now he does come with some accessories he does come with his little uh arm blades he does have his arm blades and uh, they are done in a nice molded black plastic there you can see oops, focus, focus. focus let me get dino out of here focus on these okay, focus there you go yeah they're nice done plastic and uh, they're molded in detail a little bit you see more on this side because these have like tabs on it so you see more on this side yeah i think they look good would have been nice to see some silver maybe at the on the rim so but you get what you get now let's bring in dino here wait for the camera to focus focus come on there you go and uh wait, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> what you want to do is you're going to basically plug them into his forearms now uh, the obligatory product shots and everything about this figure is telling me to plug them in this way like this right but uh, literally on the box for the pictures that they chose of him, of him in the movie they're facing this way <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go with accuracy instead of the instructions so uh, yeah there you go and just plug them in like this and you do that on both sides I don't really think it matters which arm they go in but I like it this way so that way the tabs are inward yeah you can give him his little forearm blades and have him cut up some Decepticons you know have him he's a chef he's challenging Gordon Ramsay to uh, steak cook off <laughs> yeah you can totally do that if you want to and uh, he looks good I think he looks good but now for some comparisons here he is with his wave buddy, B127. And uh, I will, oops, my Dino doesn't like to stand. <laughs> fix him up a little bit, and uh, it's because his legs are the hinges on his legs are a little bit loose. So there you go. And I think they do look good together. Uh, mine does have a little upgrade kit thing, so uh, that's 3D printed. And I don't think I've mentioned that before, but uh, yeah, I do think they look good together. Here he is with old Camaro B. Whoops, mine doesn't like to stand either. So I'm just gonna go ahead, just stand. There you go. There he is with old Camaro B. And uh, like I said, I do think they look well together. And uh, like I said, I wish they gave his door articulation to B. I think that would have been a lot cooler, but uh, yeah, maybe just engineering problems. But uh, yeah, definitely think they look good together. And just because, just to throw a Voyager in there, he, here he is with Studio Series. Blitzwing, he's a he's a big bot. So uh, yeah, I think they look well together. Definitely never interacted, but uh, look good nonetheless. And that was my review on Studio Series Deluxe Class Autobot Dino. And uh, yeah, he's definitely a cool looking figure. I uh, definitely think that this figure uh, definitely portrays Dino from the movie very very well. Even if it does have a different alt mode um blitzwing had a completely different alt mode and he's still an amazing figure um so nonetheless i think it's a very good figure i definitely don't think that uh him having a different uh car is some is a reason not to get him he definitely does have a very accurate uh robot mode and uh, i like that they gave him his blades i uh, wish that had more paint on it. it wasn't just plain black some silver maybe might take a silver sharpie to it don't know and uh, kind of wish it came with his grappling hooks just like something to an extra extra item but i'm pretty sure some company will 3d print that or something like that shockwave labs or something like that dna design something will probably turn up eventually but uh yeah i definitely think that this figure is definitely worth it uh now he is still believe i think at walmart and targets you can go ahead and check your local walmart and your local target but i did however pick him up from bigbadtoystore.com so you can check that out linked in the description down below and, uh, and I think that's it. So for, don't forget to check out BigBadToysTore.com where you can check that website out for all your Transformer needs. And you can also check out my Instagram link down below uh, so you can see pictures of Dino and other figures I have yet to review. You can also check out my Twitch link in the description down below, which I am starting to stream a little bit more, kind of, not really. <laughs> but you can go ahead and check that out if you want to. 
And I think that's all I had to say. So this is SGT American. And this is my review on Studio Series Autobot Dino. And this is SGT saying peace.